I don't care that it's hardcore. I'm not gonna be scared. It's another thing about the hardcore playthrough. I'm not gonna be scared. There may be times when I avoid enemies. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I'm just gonna go in without hesitation on everything. There may be times when I avoid Black Pearl Bird. Okay, that may be one early. I'll get him at some point. Just maybe not early. Gathering seaweed, I'm gonna craft ice rags. Nice. Got Michael. What's up? I can't. I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. Hold still, I have a bandage. I can feel it working. Oh, thank you, lot. I'm not going to die here. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Thank you. A million times thank you. I seriously owe you one. I'll talk to Aunt Rissa and make sure you get a full tribal favor for this. Ow. I don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. I'll find a safe place to let the medicine do its thing, then go home for the, the second I'm able. Better get off the beach quick, dude. There's, there's mantis. Actually, I'll deal with mantis shrimps for you. That way, you don't have to worry about it. Blue sand right here. See this angle? Oh, mistake in the game. At that angle, you can see the... I don't have water. That's alright. That's alright, no water bonus for stamina, that's okay. I wish I did. Probably should have raged up too, that's fine. Nice, good. Nice, good. End it. Thank you. Take everything he's got. Scour the scour the surf for fishing spots. Gather more seaweed. Nice, gravel beetle. Really valuable. Bag's overweight. See, already. I'm going to drop these guys. It's, it's killing me. Next thing I'll drop is probably the padded boots. Or the hatchet. Alright. Moving on. More seaweed. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Love the music and outward. If you don't love the music and outward, um, I question your judgment. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. Anyone has a right to hate it. It's totally fine. And decrafting boots, turning everything into ice rags. I guess you'd probably like it more if I. You'd like the music more if I didn't uh, sing along with it as I did. But I, I will, though, here and there. Because I, I like it. I like to. Blue sand, we finally got that blue sand, nice. We got another... We got our stamina bonus, yeah, we got our recovery going good, we're fine. Just rag up, might as well rage up too for this guy. I don't know if it matters, we're not really dealing impact with our cloth knuckles, so I doubt we'll stagger him anyways. 
good. Nice. Just Okay, gotta avoid that AoE. Ah, I got caught. Got caught trying to get greedy. Nice. Yes, good. One bit. Where's my bag? Okay. Clearing out all these mantis shrimps for Michael so he can get back home safely. He can rest on the beach as long as he as long as he needs to. Okay. Again, just looking for fishing spots. Hoping to get blue sand. Let's see where shrimp. There it is right there. Blue sand, Azura Shrimp. I guess I can just kind of speak things into existence in Outward. Um, but I'm actually, I'm actually not going to do Blue Sand set. Blue Sand, no, no. The armor set. I'll sell it. I'll sell the Blue Sand. Mine Amalite. It's interesting how once you get in, gain a lot of experience playing outward, you, you begin to play totally differently. Like as a beginner, I definitely recommend Blue Sand Set. It's awesome. Um, but just you'll come, you'll come to play a little bit differently. You may still like the Blue Sand Set after your experience. That's, that's totally fine. Okay. Still have our stamina boost from the Tartine. But we are lacking that water stamina boost, which is a bummer. Yeah, again, he caught me. Nice. Get out of there. Good. Staggered him. Excellent. I'd like to find some hyenas. I'd like to get some predator bones going. Then I can buy a fang recipe from Loudhammer. There's another mantis shrimp down there that I must have missed. It's just. Yeah. I'll go down there and deal with him. No hyenas up here? Huh. Pearl bird. We still got stamina recovery for quite a long time. Come on now. Oh. Yes. Really want that Pearl Bird mask. I feel like I haven't gotten it in so long. To the point where I feel like. I don't know. Maybe it's gotten taken out of the game. I know it hasn't, but it just feels like that. Nice. Stagger him? No. Good. Get the bag. There's the blue sand, yeah. Let's see again, we go to this angle. Blue sand right there. 
Two blue sand, nice. Again, I'm just going to sell it. Pretty valuable. Not that valuable. It's only 14 silver, I believe. It adds up. We're going to go to the plateau, antique plateau, pretty early. I want to get some more decent fist weapons. Got to get something, an upgrade from the cloth. Okay, starfish cave. Let's get some more health regeneration going. Do I have mushroom bars? Yeah. Restore some of that burnt health. Okay, that's good. I don't know if it's late late enough in the evening for the the tide to be to be low tide so I can get down to the bottom of the starfish cave. We'll see right here. Might have to sleep for a bit. Oh yeah. It's filled with water. Deploy my bag. What time is it? 19.01. So it's 7 o'clock now. I, I, honestly, I, the cutoff might be 7 o'clock and then you can access Starfish Cave. Hmm. That's my theory. We'll see if this holds true. 7 o'clock is the. Yeah, now it's evening time. So 7 o'clock. My stamina recovery, what do I got going here? 320, 320 seconds, that's plenty of time to deal with the shrimp. Can't rage up. I haven't checked my durability on the, the knuckles. Hopefully they're not too bad. Okay. Come at me. Is he not gonna come at me? This gets sketchy when they get on top of. Oh, yeah. Sketchy when they're on the hills. Ooh. Come after me. Don't like him up on this hill. Hmm. I'm telling you. Makes me nervous. Nice. Gather the blue sand. Aquamarine jewel, nice. Let's take all that. Good, get some good items here. Clean water, I can finally gather some fresh water, that's good. Go to this view where you can actually see underneath the water. Some seaweed. Bags overweight. Just drop the hatchet. Hmm. Okay. Bunch of ice rags to craft. I 
head back out to the chairs and ease. Yeah, I want to try to find some hyenas on the way back. I want to get myself some predator bones. Beautiful sunset. Loving this. Giant rib cage of whale. I never get tired of outward. I never get tired of the sights. How's our stamina recovery? 90 seconds? I guess we'll refresh that. Okay, let's go ice rag. Nice. Again, just hoping for that mask and we didn't get it. Use the endurance potion. Yeah, let me equip. Okay. Oh, got stuff. Ah, oh, man, our pack, our pocket. I don't know why I didn't have things in the pocket. Let's go ice rag. I don't know. We might hit. Just in case. Sometimes there's hyenas up here. I, I want to be able to deal with them. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Nice. What a terrible dodge. Where's the other one? There it is. The bones, it's good. Come on. Yes. Mask? Nope. Got the meat stew working. I have all these things assigned to the quick slot. I never use the quick slot. I always go into the inventory. Hmm. I guess that's fine. Making our way back to Sierra. Gonna sell a few things. Turn in that tribal favor. Talk to Oliel and Azan. Again, I've mentioned it before in other videos, but the, the regions at nighttime. Something really soothing about the whole thing, the whole, the whole feel. The music, the, the night sky. Yeah. Really great job by the creative uh, directors in this game and all the people that made it happen. Mm. Back into Sierzo.
We've got a bunch of things to sell. All those husks. Greetings, friend. Selling the boots. I'm selling. Sell two of the land. Um. I'll keep. Okay, I'll sell the burnt, the partially burnt one, and my other. Okay, sell some of these. I'll sell the shrimp. Sell the larva eggs. Sell all the husks. I'll sell. Um. Yeah, I'll sell the hide. Might as well. Sell the live weedy mana stones. Sell all my blue sand. All the amylite. I'm not into the amylite armor. Again, it's heavy. We're staying minimal. Very minimalistic build. Probably go with a dancer set. That's probably my favorite set. Take all the gold. Sell the Astro Potions. Cool. He doesn't have recipes. Greetings, no. friend. He doesn't sell recipes. Except for I sold my predator bones. What am I doing? Greetings, friend. Huge mistake. Sold these for eight, now I'm buying them for twenty-eight. Hey, um sorry, I just Um I kinda gave you that that and now I'm hoping to get it back. I actually didn't want to sell it. He's not. He's not taking that for an explanation. Hmm. What can I do for you? All right. Well, you can sell me this recipe for the Fang Axe. I'm gonna purchase the Iron Axe. Confirm it. Let's read the recipe. Fang axe. It's crafted. Fang axe added. Paid too much for it. Predator bones. Nice. Mm hmm. Yep. That's a comfort for me. Okay. Let's turn in that tribal favor. Rissa better not still be at my lighthouse. That'd be too much. All right. Greetings. How go your efforts? I want to talk about my blood price. You have a way to make that payment. I earned a tribal favor. Show me. And on time, too. I'm impressed. You've proven you can be an excellent asset to the tribe when you put your mind to it. Well done. Sierzo thanks you for your great deed. Oliel and Izan are leaving Sierzo. You should speak with them before they go. What do you mean they're leaving? What's going on? Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Nothing I could say would convince her to stay. Good, it's about time you let her go. <sighs> you cannot understand what it feels like to have your only daughter forsake her name and home. I may never see her again. She was born into such an advantageous family. And yet, who am I to argue with the literal god? Then he's on? Why is he leaving? He can't be ready for another expedition already. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. 
Listen, Comforts, the shipwreck that killed so many of our people and nearly took your life was the fault of Yzan's brother, Roland. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. What? How can you be so sure? <sighs> Roland fell asleep on duty. He confessed as much to me himself. This is unacceptable. Roland accepts the consequences of his actions. Izan refuses. He has chosen to exile himself from Sierzo forever rather than do his duty to the tribe and bear the blood price. This isn't fair. I understand punishing Roland, but why Izan? The blood price must be levied against an entire bloodline. Otherwise, the one who bears it would be pushed to act selfishly rather than repay what is owed to the tribe. Sign it can be held for a lo as long as it needs to. Against an individual, it promotes only bloodshed. The blood price is not a punishment. It's a repayment for a wrong. It allows those who have suffered to get their fair sh compensation without violence. Without it, we would be ruled by revenge and mob rule. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Sierza, now that you can handle the world outside. Okay. I'll go chat it up with Izan first. I take it you've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lot, I'm gonna use it. I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Leva Levant. Levant, never to darken the stain of a city ever again. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. They don't buy into the idea that we should only focus on survival. They believe in pushing progress to create an even better society. Listen. It's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the misdeeds of your ancestors. You succeed or fail on your own merits, no one else's. Good choice. Go chase your dreams. That I will. I will chase the Levantine dream and make it my own. I'll take any risk over being trapped here by my brother's idiocy. I take it you're not going to forgive your brother, are you? Not in a thousand years. Roland had one job, keep the lighthouse lit. He couldn't even manage that. Well, that's just wonderful. This is the last time I let his foolishness and clumsiness hurt me. He can go feed a hyena with his own hide for all I care. That's a bit severe. I'm done with him, now and forever. I'm gonna miss you, Izan. Wind be at your back. Likewise, my friend. I hope we meet again under better circumstances. Wind be at your back. I just said If you that. plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. You'll have to leave the Chersonese by going southeast, then travel east through the entire Enmerkar forest, and then finally south through the Abrasar Desert itself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Alright, he's off. Hates his brother. I don't advise again. I don't advise that. Uh, I've got brothers. I, I love them. I want to love them forever. Holy L. I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. I'm not looking back. Sierzo will miss you, Olia. Did something happen? Did something happen? You're scowling. Mother and I had a talk. I didn't like any of what I heard. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. Sketchy. I can't talk about it. Sketchy. She wants me to follow in her footsteps, and I, I, I just can't. I already have no desire to be chamber lady, and what she told me, I refuse to consider being part of it. All right, listen. It's unlikely we'll meet again, Comforts, unless, of course, you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make a lot less make make me a lot less nervous. I'll think about it. Excellent. I'm glad. 
I'd be happy to have you with me. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe or family. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. Always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. It's a good set of values to live by. I wonder... In fact, if you join the holy mission, give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's the ideal clean slate. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon, in the Hallowed Marsh. The road you need to take to reach the marsh is in the east of the Chersonese. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. The trail of sun pillars towards the ray of light that flies over Monsoon. Alright, Oliel's gone. I like Oliel. She seems like a sweet person. Marissa. Done some things. Oliel can't talk about it. I wish she would. I wish she would talk about it. I really want to know. All right, let's go up here. We'll talk to Helen Turnbull. She gives us a little quest. Greetings, friend. Greetings. I'm here about work. Lend me your ear. I'm looking for something I can do nearby. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Tell me, what will you risk? Some what will you risk for some silver? If the pay is good, I'm willing to put my life in danger. Is what I need. I'm looking for a particular rare mushroom in the shape of a shield. I hear it grows in Blister Borough, northeast of Sierra. You'll know it if you find it. The primary characteristics are its immense size and red color. Bring me that mushroom and I'll pay 70 silver for it. Troglodytes in deep dark caves? That sounds like an adventure, I'll do it. Perfect. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. She didn't mention troglodytes. How does my character say, like, why would why would she freak out about troglodytes? She doesn't even know they're in there. Lend me your ear. To get to Blister Burrow, head out of Sierzo's main gate and follow the road to the left. When you get to another fork in the road at a wooden gate, turn left again. You'll know you're going the right way if you see crude statues made by the troglodytes. The entrance should be just ahead of you along the hillside. I'll leave you to your work. Thanks for the chat. I'll see you. Alright. I think there's gay berries over here I didn't grab. Maybe I did. I don't know. Ochre spice, please. Nope. Couldn't speak that. Couldn't speak that into his existence. Now if I have a chat with Roland over here, he'll hook me up. Decent equipment. This is awful. So you know, yeah, it was my fault the boat got wrecked. It's my fault izan has got a blood price to pay. It's my fault your investment went belly up because I was a careless idiot. I don't even know how Rissa found out. It's like she has some kind of sixth sense. Get to work and pay it back. Do your duty to the tribe. Hmm. I know my duty. My future descendants' duties. We will pay our blood price for however many gener generations it takes. I won't run from this. This is my punishment. I will shoulder it however I can. Until I die. That's what's expected of me, right? How do you intend to pay your blood price? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't no. know. I'm bad at everything I do. I don't have the patience to fish. I'm not good with steel. Bah. I might just throw myself at the outside world and try to make it there. That's the spirit. Make it work or die trying. Hmm. Maybe I should beg Ito to teach me some of his personal combat skills first. I don't want to be torn to pieces by hyenas or troglodytes. Hey, listen. You're leaving Sierzo, right? Hang on. Here, it's not much, but it should help a little. I'll keep trying to make it up to you, comforts, I promise. Nice. Two life potions, antidote, hex cleaner. This is awful. <clears throat> okay. 
Let's go ahead and talk with Ido. See if we can. Amber, my friend. I want to train with you. Let's get fitness. Increases your max health by 25. And the amount of health you restore while sleeping by 20%. Essential. So essential. Mm. What can I do for you? Oda teaches uh, Talus Cleaver, but... With the axe, but I'm not gonna pay the 50 silver to, to learn it. Alright, I'm gonna go up to the lighthouse and sleep for a bit. Restore that, that max stamina, that burnt stamina there. I could drink the bitter spicy teas to relieve me, myself of the, the burnt stamina, but um, I'll save them. Can I actually prepare more? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, berry jam. Nice. Tartine. Meat stew. I guess, yeah. Craft it up. Ten meat stews. It's kind of a lot. Five raw meats. Wow. Scales in. Actually, yeah, put the scales in and the satchel. Alright. How are my nucks? My nucks need to be repaired. Drop the bag. Always drop your giant backpack. Don't crawl into bed with a backpack. Please. Sleep for two. Repair for four. See what that does to the knuckles. If they're still a bit damaged, probably repair a little bit more. I want to go into the burrow fresh. Backpacks going nuts on the ground. It's classic. Okay, yeah, they're, they're good. Alright. What time is it? 11 11 a.m. Just kind of getting up for the day. That was me back in high school. 11 a.m. summertime. I hate waking up late now. I, I, I don't wake up late. Work has turned me into an early riser for sure, and I'm glad it has actually. Set out to the chairs and knees. I'm going to go ahead and end this session here. Um, I have to use the restroom really badly. so. But we'll end it here. We'll pick it up next time. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get into this character with me. And I hope you make it far in this hardcore mode. So, well, bye.